everyone. Welcome to Lee Toledo. I'm Chris Lee, and I'm so happy that you're joining us for this video today. Today's video is on a subject that is very dear to me because I really want to educate the public on how to find a legal professional to help you with your immigration benefit. So the first question is, how do you conduct a background check on the professional you wish to choose? Number one, it's very important you deal with a licensed professional, a professional who's in the legal industry who is licensed as an attorney. That person can be licensed in the US or they can be in Brazil for if you are doing consular processing. But what's most important is that when you are talking about immigration benefits to the US, legal judgment is required and legal judgment cannot be rendered by anyone other than a licensed professional. Please do not seek consultants or commercial directors because they are not educated and licensed to exercise legal judgment. And it is the legal judgment that will allow you to get the immigration benefit you desire. Um, the next question I have is, what should be observed in terms of licenses and permissions? This is fabulous because every country, every state in the U.S. has a bar that is the licensing authority for the license that the attorney may hold. It is public information and you can find out, does that attorney have a license to conduct the legal affairs that he or she may be performing? I highly recommend you do the search so you know who your legal representative is and what they're doing, how long they've had their license, and can be trusted because at the end of the day, your whole dream, your life savings may be going into this legal benefit. So don't take anything for granted. Seek information from legal or government authorities to confirm what has might have been presented to you. A next question that has come to my attention is, are there lawyers who specialize in certain types of visas? And absolutely. There are attorneys who may do one type of immigration visa, such as H-1Bs. There are other attorneys who may do asylum cases. There are other attorneys who may do employment-based immigration visas, which is what our specialty is at Lee Toledo. Let's see, the next question that's come out is, is it possible to carry out a consultation that regulates the profession and how should that be done? Are there any specific links or pages? I kind of addressed this question earlier, but you can certainly, when consulting with your legal representative, ask them, where are you licensed? Do you have a link so that I can check to see and validate that you are licensed where you say you are? And the other thing that I think is very important is that if you are emailing or communication via email, you will see that attorneys will have underneath their name where they're licensed and you can use that information to go to these public websites under that bar and check according to your attorney's name and you can see when they were licensed how long they've been practicing law and just get a comfort level that you are dealing with who they say they are um can a lawyer or law firm promise a job no we are here to do your immigration benefit not to offer you a job um, and I think that clear distinction needs to be recognized that we will not be providing you a job, but assisting you in the immigration benefit you seek. If you think about it, many conflict of issues could arise with you getting a, being promised a job by your attorney while doing your immigration benefit that may be associated with a job. Are there any warning signs that should be observed during a immigration process consulting? Yes. If you are meeting with a individual who is not a licensed legal representative, then you should ask yourself, why am I meeting with somebody who has to give me legal judgment and they're not licensed, they have no legal background, how can I trust the words coming out of somebody who is just maybe a consultant and gets paid to do that? Remember, these people are making money off of you and you want to make sure that money is not being used for their own benefit as for your benefit. So just keep that in mind. And I think that everyone has that sense in their stomach or their sixth sense and can know when something is just too good to be true or doesn't seem right, then it usually isn't. Okay, 
Um, let's see. If the applicant is not comfortable with any conduct of the lawyer, is it possible to change the office? What happens in these cases? Absolutely, you can change attorneys. You are not tied to the attorney if you do not like that attorney or you were promised one thing and the attorney is delivering something else. Always remember that the relationship can be terminated at any time, okay? And so if something happens or your process is not going the way you were represented that it would go or you're just not comfortable and don't have any communications with an attorney, you should by all means terminate whatever relationship you have with that company and find an attorney that you can trust. Thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. I look forward to seeing you at our next video. Bye-bye.